Well, what's going on, boys and girls? I was not expecting to make this video today because at the very earliest, I was expecting to get this package tomorrow. But thanks to FedEx and Battle Beaver being on their A game, I got the package a day early, which means I make this video a day early, which means I get to go back to making my normal scheduled content the way I want to make it a day early. It's crazy how time works like that. Now, you guys all read the title. You guys clicked on the video. We all know why we're here. I'm not going to clickbait you guys. We have a box. Now, for some of you that are box fetishists, box enthusiasts, you are very very fascinated by this container. But those of you that are seasoned unboxing veterans, you guys know the box is dope as hell. It's not why we're here. You guys know this is just a vessel. What we're actually here to see is inside the box. But I'm going to build up the suspense because I want to talk about something else real quick. So I'm going to put the box over here. Before we talk about where we are going in a few minutes, let's talk about where we have been. And what I mean by that is my previous experience with modded controllers. I get asked a lot of questions about these people or interested people want to know. So I'm going to briefly talk about my experiences with both Scuff and Battle Beaver. So right off the bat, let me get this out of the way. I have absolutely zero affiliation with either Scuff Gaming or Battle Beaver Customs other than the fact that I happen to own their products. That is my only affiliation with either company. Secondly, let's get the glaring question out of the way, the question I am by far asked the most. What is better, paddles or buttons? I'm going to be 1000% transparent with you. There is literally no difference to me. It's going to come down to your personal preference, whichever one you happen to like better. They are functionally the same item. I know that may not be the answer some of you are looking for. That may not be the answer some of you wanted to hear, but in my personal experience, there is literally no difference in performance between paddles or buttons. They both serve the same purpose. They're both relatively in the same place. Even on Battle Beaver, you can customize where the buttons go if you want to. And move Moving on to the next most asked question that I get, why did I move on from both controllers? For the scuff, it's a relatively simple answer. I used to play on Xbox. This is obviously an Xbox scuff. It connects with whatever Xbox uses to connect wirelessly. That worked fine. Whenever I swapped from Xbox to PC, you have to have a wired connection for the controller to work with the PC. And if you guys can see inside of that USB port, you can see there is no micro USB in there. Now, why is that? It's a pretty simple story. It's a pretty heartbreaking story. I had the USB cable in it. One day, I wanted to take the USB cable out and whenever I yanked the USB cable out the micro USB port came with it. Is that a problem with scuff or is that a problem with just how Xbox controllers are? I don't actually have an answer for that. Most of the problems that I've had with both controllers are just basic Xbox controller problems so it's not going to be company specific but that one I actually don't really have an answer for. I'm going to lean more towards the side of it's just a basic Xbox controller problem because I don't want to blame the company for something that's that stupid. And then other problems I had with my scuff, I had to take off the faceplate back here to replace the batteries one day. I dropped this and my left paddle broke, but that, I mean, I dropped it, so what can you really do about that? So those are the two glaring issues that I had with my scuff controller. Now, what was my problem with my Battle Beaver? The Battle Beaver issue is a more recent issue. I've talked about it in a lot of my recent Call of Duty videos. It's also an issue that I cannot blame on Battle Beaver. I just had insane stick drift. My controller finally died and I got stick drift on my battle beaver that is why i had to get a new one which is what's in that box in case you guys haven't figured it out yet so again that may not be the most exciting answer but that is just the truth i have stick drift i needed to get a new controller in order to play my game the right way so as far as the big cons go for either controller the biggest con for both controllers are not company specific issues other than the paddle snapping on the scuff but that is what it is that's partially user error on my part now let's talk about things that i like on both controllers or things i wish other controllers had the thing i I wish Battle Beaver offered is basically just the grips that Scuff has. There is no matching the grips on the back of this controller, in my opinion. You have the black part, which you guys are not going to be able to tell very easily, but it is a textured, like, rubberized military-style grip. It feels really nice in hand. It really helps if you have sweaty hands, which I do sometimes because my room gets hot as hell. And then the outer part is a different type of rubber grip, but this also feels really nice in hand. I just wish that Battle Beaver offered something because I have the textured grip on Battle Beaver, but this is just, like, a textured plastic. While it does help a little bit with grip, if you have sweaty hands, you're going to run into the problem with any controller that you did not run into with the scuff, and it just doesn't feel as nice if you want me to be completely honest. As far as other features go that the controllers don't share that I wish they did to have a fairer comparison, whenever I bought my scuff, they just did not offer mouse click triggers or like high response triggers. I don't know what the actual term on scuff's website is, but whenever I ordered my scuff, all they had was uh, trigger stops. 
So this is as far as the trigger stop goes on both. And then obviously on my Battle Beaver, I got mouse click triggers or smart triggers. That is as far as each one goes and they are mouse clicks. I will play this by the mic for some ASMR. And other than this one being an esports themed optic gaming controller and this one being a customized pink and black Battle Beaver. They are functionally the same controller in performance. They help me perform the same way. There's not much of a performance difference between the two. It's basically just quality of life things on both controllers and even Scuff now offers mouse click or smart triggers so that's not even like a real talking point as far as I'm concerned but Scuff grip man. I wish Battle Beaver offered something other than like the aftermarket third party grips you can put on but that is neither here nor there. Let's get into the actual part of the video that you guys came to see which brings us back to the box. Now, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed. I have the shipping label duct taped over because I just don't want you guys to know where I live. I'm sorry if that is a big disappointment. I hope you guys understand, but I've already opened the top seal with my handy dandy X-Acto knife. If you guys are new to the channel, you don't know about that. If you guys have been here before, you know the X-Acto knife is how I open things because I am a lunatic. So let's crack the seal on the box and see what's going on inside. Another box! Who would have thunk that? Am I gonna be able to get this out of here without turning the box upside down? <laughs> nope, I have to turn it upside down. Be right back. All right, so box number two was snugly fit into box number one. That was more difficult than it should have been to get out, but it was not that difficult. It just It was comically difficult, I guess would be the best way to describe it. So here's box number two. The only Battle Beaver branded anything on this is the little tape they have holding the box shut, which I just reclosed because I'm an idiot. So now let's open box number two. And we have a hella protective foam. Things you love to see. That's one piece. Get it out of here. Not the anime. And then the controller itself is in another little pouch of protective foam. We'll put that aside for a second because there's some other stuff in here. A Battle Beaver business card on the back is their number, email, QR code, social media links. Um, everything was backwards on camera, so I apologize, but that's what that is. And then just like my completely customized controller, here is the spec sheet for all the customization options. Again, it's probably backwards for you guys. If I'm a good editor, I'll flip it in editing or try to make it more legible or put a screenshot or something. So, so just to run through what is on this list and what the controller has, left rear button is a B button, right rear button is an A button. Those are the only two button customizations they gave me. The rear button type is standard instead of quiet. I could not change that option. The remap chip is a no. I don't think I could change that option either. Impulse trigger rumbles and large handle rumbles I have disabled. I actually have them removed from from the controller my controller has no rumbles in them i got stock xbox thumbstick tensions for both thumbsticks and then for both triggers i got smart triggers which again are the mouse clicks we'll see that in a second i got my upgraded bumpers i got no control freaks and as far as the aesthetics go this might be mind-boggling to some of you it is just a red xbox controller the only two options for color they gave me were black or red i went with red and i think that's everything in the box there's some paper and yeah that's everything else in the box so let us yeet this box over with the other box and we'll come over to this foam pouch as a little opening on the side, let's pull out the bad boy, toss the paper away, and then this is what we are left with. This is the controller I got. It is a red Xbox controller, like I said. It has the Battle Beaver branding in the middle. And then on the back, here are the buttons. These buttons are actually different than the ones I have on this one. The ones I have on my custom controller are bigger and they just take up more surface area so they're easier to click. But other than that, it's just a red Xbox controller. Not a lot of customization on this one because I don't know if I've mentioned it up until this point. This is one of their pro picks. This is one of the controllers you can select and get it as quickly as possible, which is what I needed because, I mean, I'm a content creator. I record videos every day. I need a controller as soon as possible. The build date on the spec sheet they gave me is 3-29-22. The day I am recording this video is 4-2-2022. So time from when they built my controller to when I have it in hand recording this video is what? What is that? Four days? And all in all, from the time I placed the order until I have the controller, it's less than 10 days 
days. I don't know the exact day because I don't remember what day I ordered this on. And as far as price goes, it was very similar to how much this cost. This one was about 175 after shipping and the discount codes because I had some features on that one that just made the price a little bit less. And then this one after shipping and the discount code was about $176 USD. So, so similar prices, all things considered as well. And now we are back to this camera setup. Hello, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys have been enjoying the video thus far. The packaging is on my bed. Ignore that. It's usually not that messy in here. Ever, as far as the unboxing part of this video goes, for the new controller I got, the Red Battle Beaver, I mean, that's basically it. It's out of the box. It's how unboxing videos work. We have accomplished this task. As far as the other part of the video goes, my compare and contrast makeshift review of the scuff I previously had and the Battle Beaver I previously had. I hope that was informative. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video overall. If you did enjoy this video overall, leave a like down for your boy. It helps out way more than you guys know. Since I am assuming a lot of people that are going to be seeing this are new to my channel, consider checking out my other content because I post daily videos here and a lot of it is Call of Duty content, especially if you guys are into esports, you might have a happy home here being a subscriber. So consider subscribing. If you are new to the channel, hit that bell notification so you do not miss one of those daily uploads I mentioned before. But that is pretty much all I have for you boys and girls. I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you in tomorrow's video if you are returning viewers. Peace, boys and girls.